I'm Andrew from Apt, and this is the MacBook Air with a 13.6 inch screen. Now, Apple has a lot of variability in terms of little specs that change the price. I'm going to be focusing on the $1,200 model as it fits right into that upper mid range. And compared to laptops across the spectrum, you always want to balance price, performance, and portability. And with this, you get a big emphasis on performance and portability. It has plenty of power and snappy performance, and it is extremely light with a very long battery. So the MacBook Air, 2.7 pounds, 15 hours of battery life. It is one of the most portable laptops on the market. And you know, you're paying for it. You're also paying a little bit for the brand here. Apple definitely doesn't make discount hardware and $1,200 is a lot. You're getting eight gigabytes of memory here. You're getting 256 gigs of hard drive. Now that hard drive is SSD. So that means you're gonna be able to access what's on your hard drive that much faster than one of the old spinning disks. And eight gigs of RAM is plenty for basic multitasking. So working on a document and browsing the internet and having multiple tabs open and again, accessing your files very quickly, no problem here. Because one of the things that Apple emphasizes is snappy performance. So those specs, the eight gigs, the 256 are fairly typical, even at a much lower price. But with Apple, you're getting their proprietary M2 chip. It's a brand new processor and the idea is to make it so snappy. This thing starts up immediately. You'll be able to open programs right away and jump in and start working. And that's the idea is speed and portability. And this thing is fanless. So it'll be silent. If you're trying to stealth computer use, then this is the laptop for you on one of those spy missions where you're like, just one second, let me work on this document and then continue spying. Perfect. This also has a shiny liquid retina display. That means it should be even more vibrant than your standard HD. It has a 1080p camera, so you can talk to family and friends on a video call. It has Wi-Fi 6. It has four speakers if you wanna play music right on the laptop. If you wanna to listen to music on your headphones, you can. There's a headphone jack, there's a couple of USB-C jacks, and there's a little port for Apple's mag charger. So enough to get charged and to plug in a couple of things, but it's very streamlined. There's not a ton of ports here. The idea is how thin it is, how light it is. So you have to do away with some of that stuff. The keyboard is also backlit and it qualifies as one of Apple's magic keyboards. So thin keys, but should still be very responsive with a force touch trackpad. Again, Apple tends to do their own thing with some of the basics, but it still functions very well, especially when you get used to it. If you're making the transition over from Windows, it will be a little bit of a learning curve, but Apple does tend to be very streamlined and fairly easy to pick up. And again, this is a great laptop to look at if you really emphasize portability and battery life and it has the performance to boot. And if you're interested in trying it out, we have it on display right here at the App Store or check it out online on app.com where we've got experts waiting to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.